what did I say her last name? <laughs> Shikowitz. Shikowitz, okay. Hi guys, welcome back to Model Mom TV and today we have an episode about Ultimate Workout with Ultimate Workout Machine and I have a very special guest, her name is Mia Shaikovitz. Yeah, you say it so nicely, how it's supposed to be said with the accent, it's a Russian name. So. Okay, well yeah. we have something in common. <laughs> you and uh, super excited you know just to know more about you I know you do a lot of public speaking and you know you come from dancing background so there's so much talent and you know you have such an amazing and interesting story thank you yeah I love to stay active in any way I can so whether it's physical or mental any type of ex exercise activities I am all about it so really excited to be here and to talk about that and yeah. also to just Schmooze with you and yeah. meet with you. I'm Eugenia Kuzmina. I've been modeling since I was 13 years old. I have been photographed all over the world by some of the most notable photographers. When I was 24, I also started acting in Hollywood. This was after I had kids. I will be sharing all kinds of tips with you so you can discover how you can navigate the business of show business while also juggling your life. And more importantly, how to have fun along the way. This is Model Mom TV. So originally I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, and I grew up um, there, really, really active kid. I danced, I did almost every sport you could think of, um, and I fell in love with swimming, actually, when I was a teenager. And when I was in 10th grade, I went to get a physical done for the new season, mm -hmm. and I had a stomach ache that day, and it got worse over time, and as I went to um, go to sleep that night, it hurt, but then it had gone away, so I thought I was okay, and when I woke up a few hours later, it was so bad that I ended up going to the hospital. Wow. When I got to the hospital, they thought, you know, maybe you have appendicitis, and it wasn't until I was getting x-rays that I realized my legs were heavy. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was weird because I'd never experienced that before. And, and you were a total healthy kid. Exactly. I had never ever. had a broken bone. So I'd never oh. even been in a hospital. I mean, mm -hmm. I really, and I was super active, but I, yeah, I'd never had any injuries. Um, so it was very unusual. Mm -hmm. um, and when the x-ray technician said, um, well, you know, move your legs. And I said, you know, they're really heavy. It's really weird. And she's like, that's really weird. And I was like, that's weird. Yeah. You <laughs> like, don't stress. <laughs> then I'm like, is that weird? Okay. Um, then I started to be like, all right, maybe it's weird. And uh, it wasn't, and even that night, they said there was nothing physically wrong that they could find out. The x-rays came back mm -hmm. normal. Um, blood work was fine. And so they thought originally I was nervous about getting my swim team physical wow. that day. And that's why I couldn't move my legs. Which is um, normal when you're 15. Yeah. I'm age. like, hmm? Um, my mom said it could be neurological, why don't you do an MRI? Mm -hmm. So it wasn't until the next day that I found out um, from the MRI that there was a blood vessel in my spinal cord called an AVM and mm -hmm. it ruptured and it damaged nerves causing paralysis. Mm -hmm. So at that point I was um, a spinal cord injury patient. Wow. Um, I was told, you know, I'd probably never walk again. Wow. And I... What is the statistics? Does it happen to you? Know, I've heard that an AVM is like one in a million. And oh, is, wow. Yeah, especially with, well, I have a spinal AVM, which is even more rare. Usually mm -hmm. it's in the brain and it can be fatal. Mm -hmm. um, it happens in other parts of the body, but um, mostly in the brain. Um, so a spinal AVM is, is really unheard of, and especially the symptoms I had, it was very sudden. I mean, mm -hmm. I had the pain, and then I was paralyzed like 12, 12 hours later. So there really wasn't time to try to do research and figure out what was wrong with me. Wow. I didn't have a gradual progression of symptoms. So basically you weren't feeling your legs after a day, right? Exactly. Like you, uh -huh. I couldn't walk, I couldn't stand. I, I mean, I walked in the hospital, I never walked out. Wow, it um, must be so scary, I mean, especially, you know, the stage and you don't know exactly. what's happening. And yeah, I mean, to, uh, to any active person, it's, mm -hmm. it's very difficult to deal with something like that, especially at that age when you're very, you know, self-conscious and, mm -hmm. you know, I just started 10th grade, which was the first year of this high school that I'd started. Right. Um, when I first got to the rehab center, um, the, the head of the center said to my mom, she said, your world's about to get a lot bigger. Mm -hmm. And my mom and I, de being devastated in that moment, we just didn't hear it. And then my mom said a lot later, she's like, I understand that now. And I was like, that's exactly what I'm grateful for. My
my world got bigger. I got you know more knowledge about you know other people that may have a physical you know difference that I never would have been exposed to before. Yeah, it's like what is your workout routine, yeah. and maybe we can talk a little bit about the machine. Yeah, and, you know, yeah, yeah. Can, like, show For me, I I still get in the pool. Um, I'm dancing. I you know if. This is why I'm really excited about this machine is mm -hmm. because I don't really have time all the time to get to a gym. Mm -hmm. And even when I get to a gym, I have to, it, it's just the workout of me trying to get from my chair onto a machine mm -hmm. and get to that machine. Or I mean, you should see the crazy transfers I've done to like just electric bikes. Oh, wow. And I'm like, I'm gonna fall off, you know, like yeah. just getting on there. Yeah. And then uh, and then I I have to make sure I don't work out my triceps because then I won't be able to get back in my chair because mm -hmm. lifting my You're body. You're amazing weight, shape, it's by always, the way. Yeah. Like, you know. <laughs> I have a built-in gym here almost yeah. in some oh, ways, right? Yeah. Wow. Um, but yeah, so I think you know making. Sure Sure that you know my triceps still have juice in them to mm -hmm. be able to get around um, after that so I think you know making a home gym for somebody in a wheelchair is a little more challenging um, mm -hmm. finding equipment that you know you can use sure but also isn't like too cumbersome and um, and having to you know go elsewhere so yeah. I'm all about anything I can find I frequently am doing push-ups in my chair. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> and so good. You know? you know, I have this electric, or not electric, what do you call it? The elastic band. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh -huh. And, uh, yeah, but I'm always craving more. Mm -hmm. I'm always craving more because I I feel that, I mean, that's just energy. energy. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Energy so, creates energy. Thank yeah. you, JT, for sending us this yeah. amazing machine. I think it's such a great invention. You know, I was doing an earlier episode with my kids because... Mm -hmm. Like as mom, you know, it's like different, yeah. but you don't have time to work out and run to the gym. Exactly. So.